Number one, hoisin chicken. This is gonna end up very moist and very juicy if we do it right, and it will because Jean is here to guide us. So uh, how do we put this together? Oh, okay, Des, this is just such a simple, beautiful recipe with so much flavor. It's a simple glaze we're gonna make. And the nice thing is we marinate this chicken in the glaze for only about 15 minutes and then it's just ready to go into Does the oven. Thing. So ready to nice do its thing, okay. So I'm gonna get you to start by making this glaze for sure. me. Sure. So we've got three tablespoons of hoisin sauce. Okay. You're gonna add that to the bowl. And these are just accessible ingredients that you can find anywhere. Yeah, nothing too, too nope. unusual. Nothing unusual. The next is our two tablespoons of soy sauce. Soy sauce, going in. And one of my favorite ingredients, Des, is the tablespoon of fresh chopped ginger. Gotta have it. Uh, Smells wonderful, citrusy, delicious. Okay. And then we've got a teaspoon of our garlic powder. Okay. Mm -hmm. And a teaspoon of sesame oil goes in next and that adds a lot of delicious Asian flavor. I love sesame oil. And then half a teaspoon of our red chili pepper flakes. So a little and bit of kick to this A little this bit of one. kick, so you could add a little less, a little more, depending sure. on what your, your desired flavor is. And just whisk that all together. Yeah, you got it. Looking good. Oh, and smelling good too. It does indeed. Perfect. Okay. So it's just that simple. So Des, next up, I am going to get you to pour that glaze over our drumsticks. And this is about two pounds of drumsticks or about a dozen. Okay. So typically 10 to 12 drumsticks is two pounds. I was, you know, that's the thing about, well, I would say, you know, most of your recipes and these in particular, these are really recipes that anyone can handle. And I like yeah. mentioning that because I always want to make sure that people watching understand yes. that it's not, this is, you know, sometimes we have slightly more, we'll say complex yeah. recipes, but, mm -hmm. but this is a recipe. These are recipes with Gina that anyone can handle. So if you're just starting anyone. out in the kitchen, don't be afraid. I agree. Give it a try. This is a great first recipe, a wonderful one to make with your family, with your kids, and kids love drumsticks. And the other thing is, not only are they a great source of protein, but they're a fantastic source of iron. And so even more so than maybe other parts of the chicken? Yes. Okay, so tell so us about that. dark meat, is a wonderful source of dietary iron. And the type of iron in dark meat is called heme iron, and it's just a type of iron that's very easy for our bodies to absorb. So great for all of us. All right. Yeah. They're good for and you. So all you do is mix these around, and then you preheat your oven to 400 degrees, and you just transfer these drumsticks onto a baking sheet. It is just that simple. Do you Des usually use parchment paper when you put them on sheets? You know what? For easier cleanup, you can use parchment or you can use foil. The choice is yours, okay. or you can let them get nice and sticky right on the pan right on the and with hand. a little soak. And it's just that simple. Okay. And you know what we can smell right now? You want me to bring out the we, yeah, finished we have some baking. product? Okay. Yeah. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. Yeah, they do smell wonderful. Oh, they, the, your whole house will smell absolutely divine. They smell good, but, but mm. as you will soon see, there yes, we go. Pretty. Here is our Extremely poison wonderful. chicken drumsticks. And just finish them off with a little bit of sesame seeds with you like. And I love to serve these with stir fried Asian vegetables like baby bok choy. And there you've got it, Des. Healthy, delicious, beautiful. Uh, there you have it, hoisin chicken here on Great Taste of Manitoba. Um, I love them. It's like a make-ahead dish that we're going to do for you in just a second here. Yes, it is. We've got our herbed buttermilk chicken when we come back on Great Taste of Manitoba. Don't go away. You're watching Great Taste of Manitoba, brought to you in part by the Government of Canada and Manitoba Agriculture and Resource Development through the Canadian Agricultural Partnership.